Ah, hi again. So after a long time, never, <laughs> never been make, never made videos. Now I'm started for today to make two, and uh, I don't care the weather anymore because the properties needs to be put on the market anyway. So I'm in the village called Slavejkovo. We've been to this village, and I showed you a property here. So. The village is very well known, so I won't discuss the village anymore. I will try to do the video as soon as possible and as fast as as possible because the weather is going. Uh, I mean, not the weather. The it's about 4 p.m. now, and after 4 p.m. and it will be will be dark within a, an hour, hour and a half. So this is the house in front of me, obviously, and it's a nice property. The most important for this village, I'll only mention this, is that every property has a beautiful, beautiful view, and it's on a south face hill. Uh, it's located on a south face hill. So I will show you the garden first. We'll follow the tradition. This is the small door we just came into yes here and as you can see from the door you can see the road a good asphalt road well done not a problem at all accessible all the year round and i want to start straight away with a fence a proper fence what i like in this area drianovo area municipality drianovo region gabrovo is the stones i like the color of the stone it's a dark brown stone and has been uh, uh, not not very straight shape. It's a bit round and straight shape. It's mixed, but uh, the houses are more than more than many of the houses are more than 60, 70 years old. Even some of them are more than 100 years old. But the way it's been built, all the outbuildings, the house itself, and the fence are amazing. And if it's in a good condition, it's it's brilliant. Now this one is in a very good condition. As you can see, this is the old stone fence. Yes, has been built by the owner's grandfather years ago. This one has been built as it is, and later has been put this concrete cover, like a belt on it, to keep the stones straight and not to move and to make them stronger. As you can see, I'll show you from here. Yes, this is the concrete cover, the belt. And above we have the metal, uh, sticks let's say with a net so it's a proper fence the road level is there the ground here is here so we have a some kind of a slope this is the one of the old buildings but let's see first of all the living area garden as you know it's very popular in bulgaria all the properties to have gardens separate garden for where the animals lives garden as an orchard or where the people put plants and garden in front of the house which i call living area garden so living area garden is start from this door going there the site of the first outbuilding because we have three outbuildings here first outbuildings there is a stone columns i like the stone columns look at the stone columns they're really really beautiful that's really really nice and you can keep this and make it just to to look to, to, you know to to keep it as a traditional just make it cover it's covered by stone but you always can make it the proper proper roof and still keep this beautiful beautiful stone columns i like this Yes, this is where the names of the of the of this video house are going to come from. The Stone Columns house. Look at this beautiful mansory. So, continue this. You can see the the small stones and concrete belt above it and again the metal sticks net. This is what makes the separation of the living area garden of the animal garden and the orchard. Look at this, there's some kind of a problem here, there's some stones missing, but this is depend on the people, do they want to keep it, the new owner, do they want to keep it, they can fix it, easy as the stones are over there, or remove this and make it one common garden. So here, you can see, all the way is this, by the metal sticks net and small stone plus a concrete belt. And going this way as well, there is another entrance here, an exit, which leads us to a different part of the garden. So let's have a quick look again. You can see, and this is the st 
stone table where it used to be a outside parties. I remember this in my grandparents' house also was the same, similar, not exactly the same, but similar stone table staying forever. Doesn't matter what kind of weather is, the weather can not no, not cause the problems of the of the table and they drink beers, coffees, teas, rakia, wines, everything outside and enjoy the summer or enjoy the 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 wood shed like this tree the tree shed i mean sorry yeah so the garden living area garden again over there follow my fingers the stone columns entrance the side wall of the first barn and the roadside fence up from here and this is obviously obviously the house so this is the first part of the garden let's have a look what we have behind this we have like a small orchard here you can see again we have the roadside fence here so now you can see that this one has been fell down so obviously there was a problem here so the stones the most important the stones are still here and it could be fixed and rebuilt so you can see how strong is the concrete belt it's still staying but anyway this need to be done so from this side you can see what i think is because of all these trees are very close to the to the fence and maybe their roots just pushing up the wall and that's why the wall came up this this way and also there's a small tree there as well one tree here as well so i think all this should be cut off and remove this tree this tree there and it's fix this and we'll have no problem otherwise look at the rest of the, of the fence not bad at all yeah from the from the street side it's good over there is not bad too okay have a look yes yes and i think it's good to keep it and maybe make a proper maybe maybe make a proper concrete belt on it again because you can see the stones are in a good condition as you can see the stones are in a good condition sorry it's a bit overgrown here i hope i can show the real situation but the fence is not bad at all and to keep this fence it's better to put to lay a concrete belt above so all the way down to be fixed and to be kept as it is not not to to wait till start to fall down again the trees they live then these trees and the roots of these trees move the fence you can see so it's a shame it's need to be clean as soon as possible so can do the you can see here yeah, yeah it can do the to keep the fence as it is and just covered by this concrete belt and be sure that next five six years or maybe more it's one moving so there's a lot of fruit trees here some of them as i mentioned need to be removed this is a pear tree you can see you can see the apple tree with some fruits on it still um there is another apple tree there you can see this is a small walnut tree look at this small walnut tree here yeah and this is the back garden of the neighbor so one of the neighbors outbuildings back side so you can see it's fenced properly because you use the back wall of the of the neighbor's side yeah and another apple tree so we have about three four apple trees and uh, two pear trees and one small young um, walnut tree and you can see this is a big pear tree in front of the house so let's say we have a living area garden there and we have a orchard area garden here and i will try to show you the view because it's a beautiful beautiful view from several points of the garden plus the second floor of the house but now it's a bit foggy because the rain just stopped about a few hours ago this is the one of the walls of the second but of the second barn i will show you the second barn as well so let's go to see the other section of the garden so remember this is the orchard section of the garden with a wall street up there wall with a uh, with the problems of the fence on the wall wall side there this building here is toilets and bathroom obviously from the time of rains and weather it's already plaster fell down and it's i can say that it's been done but never been well well looked after after years and years and the roof concrete slope is just 
uh, a bit, you know, you can see I'll zoom for you. It looks like, uh, you know, rough start to start to take off to move for, for a while. And let's, while I'm here, let's have a look and see the house. As you can see, this is the one of the west side, let's say, it, of the house wall, west wall of the house. And there is a there is a crack over there, start just below the chimney and go down through the wall. And it looks like not that much. Sorry, I'm trying to show, but it's a bit difficult. Yes, looks not that much dangerous, but it's still crack. And I hope it looks like it's a plaster crack, but not so sure. Maybe, maybe as you can see, there is a bit of of a, of a brick shown. This red is a brick. This brown cup, uh, point is a brick. So don't know. Maybe there is a, some kind of a some kind of a problem with these cracks. And I don't think maybe it comes comes from the chimney somewhere there of any leaks of the chimney because you can see there is a light light you can see these two two brown pink trays yeah which show that there is a leak from the chimney this is what i think is cause cause this crack and it's been for a long time so needs to be that's why the cracks happen otherwise there's no any other visible problems with the, with the property so i don't think and because the crack is going this way not by diagonal the diagonal cracks are a problem which means that the house move on this way or that way but here i can't see any diagonal cracks at all this is just on the only one i've seen so let me zoom the roof underneath as you can see the roof underneath is not that much bad yeah only this side which i showed you with the leaks you can see them yeah where the chimney is this is the, sp the spots the two lines here yeah otherwise there's no any any other problems as you can see with the with underneath not any okay so let's put the zoom back and go to have a look here as well you can see that there is a problem with the gutters here with the gutters and with this flat roof flat roof of the bathroom which doesn't allow the water to go out it's keep the water there and the water is looking for its own way to go out and it's going on the wall which is not good as well as you can see yeah so this needs to be this roof need to be redone or this building need to be removed if you want to keep this building as a if you want to keep this building as a storage or tool 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 shed you need to put a proper proper roof otherwise the roof will put all this wet to the house as you can see these spots see these spots yeah there's nothing inside still still not still no any problems inside but if it's continue to be that much maybe another year it will cause a problem inside the house as well okay so let's have a quick look of the toilet and bathroom here it's a standard toilet like this one yeah with a septic tank below and here is the premise which should be a bathroom but never been used last several years is a bathroom otherwise you can see the hole for the chimney where they put the wooden burn boiler yeah okay let's put the zoom back so now we're leaving we are leaving the orchard garden look at the view there yeah this is what i'm trying to show but it's it's shame because i'll zoom for you but it's shame because it's just just foggy there and misty but still nice can you imagine when the weather is beautiful yeah okay we are now back to the living area garden and i will show you from here the house underneath so to finish with this you can see that it's not a problem at all with underneath so these lats boards need to be changed but not a problem all the rest just need to be painting you can see yeah few of them 
just few of them are missing otherwise not 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 any problems with this at all you can see it's a big house by the way a lot of bands just yeah my hand is a bit tired now oh my god let's yeah here you can see there's no any problems at all yeah okay the gutters are in a good condition here and I don't know could I could I zoom the roof I will try to zoom the roof for you before I go anywhere else maybe let's let let me put let me put because I'm trying to see the house from here but the roof is not visible so I'm I'm going out of the living area garden to the stone column gate door so this is now the animal part of the garden as you can see the first barn old type stone back wall stone side walls some stones in front but most of the rest is wooden construction plus uh, stone tiles on the roof this is the area here you can see this is nice spot you can imagine that you can put a jacuzzi here or swimming pool it's a beautiful place i think so let let me zoom the house try to zoom the house from here the roof but it's obviously doesn't look to have a, a problems with it yeah rich tiles are good proper maybe being plastered a few years ago no can't show you more from on this side so we'll try to show you more from the road side okay when i'm finished here so now this is second barn this is the first barn as i mentioned the first barn doesn't look in a very good condition but what i think mostly you can see this is a stone steps goes to the second floor the second floor is where they uh, keep the hay for the winter for to feed the animals as a construction i don't think it's that bad as it is as, as it looks because you can see the beams really good condition of the beams yes but the, the beams by their by themselves are in a strange weird shape but because the people don't um, put them too much straight in the past because it's been a lot of efforts to put to, to, to make it a proper a proper shape of this otherwise look at this it's not bad at all beams and beams everywhere here they are not in a bad condition I can show you for a while yeah look at this only this one has a problem looks a bit rotten otherwise you can see the wall over there the wall is a proper stone wall construction and the beams are built in fit in this wall construction so maybe if you remove this mud which i don't know why they put this mud maybe because of the animals and here up there i can't go up but the roof doesn't look too too good as well as i can see so let's let's say that this barn need need a good need a good roof or maybe it could be removed but i don't think just that need that much to be removed maybe can be fixed if somebody wants to spend the money and it's a lot of money obviously but you have another two barns anyway uh, otherwise the location of this one the position of this one is not bad because you have the beautiful view over there and you have the beautiful view over there as well so you may be saying that i'm a liar at the moment because i'm saying about the beautiful view and you can't see actually the beautiful view at the moment but this is because of the fog and the and the cloudy weather let's have a look this building this was for animals hens and pigs you can see looks like a strong construction there but some kind of a problems from the roof here you can see the stone roof again it looks a bit bendy so not that much good condition i think and that's why you can see the cause of the problems here some of the beams are gone and construction of the roof is gone as well here too you can see here as well so i think this roof actually structurally structurally as you can see is gone yeah this roof is gone so you need a completely new roof or you need to remove this building i think this building should be removed and the stone tiles you can use it for many things even you can sell them they are very very expensive and there's not many of them so people prefer to to keep them and to put them 
on the floors, make the garden like a area, stone flux area. The barn, the living area garden, the animal. Look at the view. Yeah, over there. I'm trying to show this again. Beautiful and quiet. Let's go and have a look. There is a another building next to the barn number one. I'll show you now. Yes, have a quick look before I leave this area. Okay. This building is a garage. There is a there is a door from the road for the cars and back door here to connect with the garden. Look at the barn from this side. As I mentioned to you, it's not that much bad. So for me, this one, as you can as you, as you can see the sorry, as you can see the stone side wall and all the stone back wall and the other stone side wall. So only in front with a few pieces of roof beams need to be changed. So I think this one deserves to be to be kept and renovated. It's a good project here. Beautiful, beautiful, good project here. And we can make accommodation additional for people. We can make a second floor, like a bedrooms and stuff, or even even you can make every you can lay everything in the second floor, like kitchen, living room, lounge, toilet, and bathrooms with a few steps. It will be beautiful, beautiful with a, with additional additional accommodation building. So the garage obviously is with a stone foundation and concrete slope above it and a standard roof. Yes, so look at it. this is a brick one you can see. So there is another door here which is goes on the street. Yeah. Obviously the building of the garage with the bricks, I don't think that it's been built very well. I think here yeah, it was a like a shed and shed with beams laying on this stone foundation and after that later has been put a bricks and a roof which i don't think it's very strong because you can see the cracks it showed that there is some structural sorry it showed that there's a, some structural problem obviously but the garage is here anyway you know people can keep it or not keep it let's go to see the last part of the garden which is uh, the biggest one so we have three levels of the garden one level with it which is we call living area garden plus one down which is called orchard garden plus the, the other level here for animals and with the outbuildings with a one and two outbuildings and there is another one last level which i can say it's maybe oh no let's say again for animal and animal and plants plants garden plus orchard look at this beautiful and beautiful view from over there yeah you can see beautiful view and you can see the parachutes people do parachuting here it's really good area look at this yeah so you can see where the house is on the first upper level. Look at the fence and a big, 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 huge, huge walnut trees. Also, what I think now when I see this big tree, it's a huge walnut tree. Look at this trunk. Amazing. Look at this root. So I think maybe this wood, because you can see this tree, you can see this how what, what is what the thickness of the root is they are the same one over there and the same one over there so i think this root here is go that way that's why you can see this fence this fence move and laying on this side so i think this is what caused the problem of the foundation of the garage the roots pushing up the building this is the problem definitely i can say and also you can see here all these movements of the of this tree they move it's caused the falling down of this inside fence here okay let's have a see this is the continuum continuing of the roadside fence again stones plus metal stick and net and net sorry look at this beautiful proper one 
So the only problem is from the other side of the house, which I showed you, where the, again the root tree pushed the wall. Otherwise, all the rest is looking really, really, really good. And here we can see the third barn, which is the strongest one, the strongest one, and is with a proper standard roof tiles. They are covered by walnut tree leaves now, but actually the constructions of this looks really really good there is only few few tiles problems and you can see this where the wet spots are look at this yeah there is a two two wet spots which are caused by a broken tiles above because by itself the roof is strong and no any problem so these new two tiles need to be fixed and once they're fixed they are going to be perfect as you can see the building here no problem with the wall no problem at all and you will see the roof construction from inside as well look at the corner i like this yeah beautiful work let's show you from the other side this barn as well okay here you can see this so i'll zoom the roof for you again and you can see there's no problem structurally is good as i mentioned just the other side three or four roof tiles has been broken otherwise see the wall here is dry it's very dry no any signs of a wet spots or trace of a leaks look at this yeah look at this it's perfect no problem at all just take off these bushes and bloody plants look at this beautiful beautiful construction I can say this barn is amazing yeah so we have one two three barns one of them definitely my opinion the one floor one need to be removed the one which is over there where next to the garage could be kept and making the proper accommodation and this one as well could be, should be kept look at the roof perfect condition of the roof you can look at the beams really good nice big strong beams no problem at all the wall in front of us here i don't know my torch will do the job properly or not but i can show you this as well so you can see the structure here hope yeah i don't think the light is enough but it's really this where the light is is definitely missed the tile and a few tiles miss, missing here you see the leaks spot you see the leak spot which are from outside as well yeah otherwise look at the walls walls are very straight yeah, i hope this uh, video with the torch inside gives you some kind of a imagination how strong the construction is really good okay so i'll put the zoom back finish with the garden and we go inside the, the house so beautiful roadside fence walls yeah the garage over there the barn next to the garage now look at here so we have here we have no stone fence here but the fence here is a net one you can see a concrete yeah a concrete post and a net so it's not bad it's good good net not broken uh, of course there's a lot of bushes above it and needs to be clean maybe or just put next to it a green life fence as we say it put some plants which will cover the next garden and the same time you can see this is always is a net and the, the next at the same time will make it looks nicer when you put the green the green life fence as we say in bulgaria life fence look at this the house over there the barn which i think should be removed or maybe part of it but we will see from the other side now the garage in the other barn 
and this one as well so i think you have a better imagination now we spent almost 29 minutes in this garden but it's good to show this is a problem because of the tree cause this problem with the fence need to be changed you can see here how the change has been twisted yeah all the change the, the fence has been twisted so here near here need to be to be done so these stones can be removed here and can be used for building up different things buildings or something else this is the barn which is not bad from this side to be honest but as you can see here we have this roof problem we have this roof problem and maybe you can knock down this or you can knock down a part of this and keep only this part and keep that part or for me it just need to be removed that's it so now let's go and have a look inside the house